So you've got, you're working on your Pac-Man frog video. You got anything, any other exciting projects in the works that's coming out soon you want to let people know about? Well, I've got these little guys. I can't imagine one. what I would do with this. It, it couldn't be another feeding my tarantula gummy worm videos. Is man, it? you know, it's been a minute. That's like my favorite <laughs> video to film. Oh man, that's like, that. The, when you post those videos, <laughs> it annoys me and like a deep sense gummy worms why why are you calling them gummy worms hey everybody welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing two of my favorite things we're going to be feeding my tarantulas gummy worms and we're going to be annoying richard aka the tarantula collective while we do it annoys me <sighs> Perfect idea. Before we get into it though, I did want to mention I have a new merch. It is available on my Teespring shop. So if you wanna check it out, I will go ahead and link it down below. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it because we have a lot to feed. So let's go ahead and start off with my Brachypelma Hamori. So I actually let these worms get like really big. So these are gonna be like really big, good meals for them. Hopefully they're not gonna be afraid of them. And of course, we're afraid of it. There. Awesome. So I do have a feeling today we are going to be feeding mini gummy worms to mini tarantulas successfully because like I said, it has been a while. So let's move right on to my Toledo Cattle Albopelosum or my curly hair tarantula. This is the wild form. Hopefully I don't scare her. I, oh, that's right, same enclosure. <laughs> we'll get to her. We're gonna feed my grandma stole a pulchra. This is Salem. I just realized it's been quite a while since we fed him and he loves hornworms. So let's go ahead and offer him a big one. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. That was a great shot. I guess now let's go ahead and feed my Toledo Cattle Avalpilosis the curly hair. All right, so she's pretty wild. Let's go ahead and see how this goes. No hesitation. Okay, so this one might not eat. This is Mavis, and she is my rose hair tarantula, one of my first tarantulas that I got. And I guess let's just see. Oh, she's scared. Okay. There we go. Oh, she took it. Sometimes you just gotta put it like right up against their fangs, and then they'll be like, oh, it's food, and take it down. But yeah, like I said, the worms are quite large this time, so they're gonna be big meals and they're gonna have to wrestle them down a little bit. Oh no, this one's hiding. Well, my skeleton leg was out in her web fortress over here, but it looks like she has decided to hide. I'm just gonna drop it in. Oh. Did you get it? Oh yeah, she totally got it. <laughs> I wish you would come all the way out. You are so pretty and huge. Okay. Oh, this girl's probably scared now though. I don't know if this one will come out. This is my Toledo Cattle Vegans. This is the Mexican pure blood one. We'll just go ahead and drop a worm in and see if she will come out. Oh, that was a takedown. I wish I got a better shot of it. But yeah, now they're cuddling in the hole, so okay. Sure, let's do her. Here she is. 
let's get some light on her awesome awesome webbing everywhere look at the skull and then i also have this jawbone i actually did buy more of these bones at the last expo i went to so i really want to do like a really cool bone enclosure setup at some point i don't know with what tarantula though because she's content where she's at but yeah let's go ahead and feed her Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but it like, it like made a noise. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and keep going. I don't know if this one will come out. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it might not. It's right down in here, all the way back there. This is my Xenthus Amenis, and they just molted, so maybe we can find out if it's male or female. Okay, so they might come out. Let me try to get them with a worm. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a shot of it. I'm gonna drop it right over here though. <laughs> oh my god, so you guys didn't see that, but it literally just like yoinked it out of the corner. <laughs> awesome, I wonder if we can tell if it's male or female from this. I don't know, it looks pretty raveled up, but I'll drop it in a cup of soap and water and I don't know, maybe we can try unraveling it and finding out. All right, so I went ahead and I grabbed soap water. So it's just warm water with a very small drop of like dish soap in it. A great way to unravel or help unravel a molt. So we're just gonna let it soak in this for a few minutes while we finish off with the rest of these hornworms. We have five more left. So I actually went and grabbed a couple more tarantulas because I didn't realize there were so many in this pack. All right, so this is another that is hiding. This is my Pamphibedius machala. So although we are hiding very deep in our burrow, we also have a very big appetite, which makes me think it's possible to get them out. All right, that was very quickly. Of course I grabbed a favorite. We have Mr. Peaches here, Mr. Peaches. I realized I'm still calling Peaches a female because I keep forgetting that she molted male. So yeah, my bad. Here you go, Mr. Peaches. Two palped peaches. <laughs> See that new palp? Funny looking little palp. I think it's cute. <laughs> it's very cute. All right, enjoy. I did grab another favorite, but I don't know if he will come out. This one is Dumpster Tarantula. Oh, I do see feet, so maybe he realizes. Yeah, he's, he's coming out, awesome. He realizes that it's worm time. Of course, this is the weird complicated enclosure. Oh, and he hides. And now this whole thing is like in my face because I can't detach it. I think he will eat it, but I think he is going to be the one that doesn't eat it on camera today because we always have at least one of those. <laughs> this is one you guys haven't seen in a long time. I don't know why I just don't really show her that much anymore. This is my C. Darlingi. Get her a nice big worm. All right, ready, set. Why are you threat posing it, ma'am? Oh my god, she hissed. Do you guys hear that? I knew tarantulas can make that hissing sound, but 
I've never had it happen. I'm glad we grabbed her because that was like a last minute thing. I didn't know if she would be hungry today. All right, so we're not done. Uh, we have one more left. It's a little one, but I did feed my OBT recently because she molted. Now, she's not the most social. In fact, I pretty much never see her. She resides right here in this burrow. I can see inside the burrow now. I used to not be able to. Well, you can't see in that that well, but yeah, she's. I doubt she's gonna come out to eat because she never does. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just drop that up there. And I'll still try to wiggle it around to see if she'll come out, but don't expect that to happen. She's not gonna come out. Sorry, guys. She's so big though, I don't know if you guys remember. I got her as like a little sling and now she is a female. She's like this big. Check this out, just a little piece of molt left over. Got some fangs attached. She's getting really big. I guess let's go ahead and see if we can tell if this one is male or female. All right, let's see if I can find out. All right. <laughs> So I do believe that it's female, but there it did rip a little bit, so it's really difficult to tell. Yeah, I don't know how well you're going to be able to tell, but right here looks female to me. There's one book lung. That's where the other was, but I kind of ripped it a little bit. But yeah, right here looks for sure like it could be a female. So I am actually going to be suspecting female, especially because I already see that and they're still like this big. It's a good sign. So I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. It's not like, I wouldn't say confirmed just yet, but it definitely looks indicating of female. So I guess that's it. We fed all of these tarantulas behind me. There's like so many and I have to put all of that away now, which will be so much fun. But yeah, I really enjoyed this video and I hope everybody else did too, except you, Richard. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> like this video if you enjoyed and if you didn't like it, Richard, go ahead and hit the dislike button twice. Subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below and I will catch you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet 